Right, topic of the day, SSDs and uh, why you have to be careful when you're choosing which drive to buy. Uh, we're going to start with Samsung, I guess. Um, this is probably one most people will have known about. Um, if you've been around the last one or two years, you will have known about the Samsung uh, 980 SSD. And you'd think, oh, 980 must be better than 970, right? 970 EVO Plus is a pretty popular SSD, so the 980 must be better, right? It's cheaper too. Of course, that isn't exactly the case, is it? The um, 970 EVO is just a normal uh, normal DRAM cache drive. Uh, you've got one gig of, um, of cache on the drive itself. Now when you go to the 980, oh, where's the cache gone? Well, they took it off. That's probably why it's cheaper, isn't it? Now, we go to the review. Where's the performance gone? Oh, it's gone with the DRAM cache. The latency just, you know, jumps up a little bit, doesn't it? When you're doing a... I mean, this is horrible on the random writes. Jesus Christ. You see the one, one, uh, one terabyte one here as well. And it just does the same. You know, and the write performance is just all over the place. And go to some uh, SQL benchmarks, this is basically databasing, and see these ones are all just, yeah, they're just in the middle of nowhere here. See 970 Pro is up here, uh, 970 Evo Plus, not bad. So yeah, well, the DRAM went and the performance went with it, who would have guessed. Now, welcome... Uh, Western Digital, they've been making some pretty decent drives. The SN750 is pretty known to be a good performer. The SN750 SE, you know, special edition or something. SE, more letters on the name. Makes sense. Hey, it's PCI Express 4.0. You didn't get that one from Samsung. They only gave you a 3.0 drive. Well, then came the Western Digital SN770. Now you got got... Uh, you know, the performance numbers in the spec sheet are even bigger. It's 4.02 and it's a bit more expensive now, but let's see whether the bigger number means anything, huh? Now, we go down here. Ah, it's just doing the same thing as the Samsung 980. And you'll see if we go here to the spec sheet, SLC cache, SLC cache, so that's the SE and the 770, and the SN750. 1 gig LPDDR4. So this is the same as the um, same setup as the Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus. They took the DRAM off and the performance went with it. Who would have guessed? It's exactly the same thing. You see, random reads, it jumps up. Random writes, it jumps up. It's especially bad with the writes because you can't queue the writes on the drive. And yeah, who would have guessed it? Crucial P5 Plus. Want to have a look at that one as well? Let's see. Well, I guess we'll look at it here. Yes, we'll accept your cookies. Let's see. Technical specifications. Does it have anything here? Okay, we guess we're going to look here. P5 Plus, was it? Yeah, P5 Plus M.2. And we'll look at the one terabyte version. SLC cache. Oh, that one has... DRAM on it. Interesting. Crucial. What happened? Anyway. So yeah, SN770, not looking so good, is it? And I can bet you the 750 SE, or as I affectionately like to call it, the Scam Edition, is, uh, is not much better. So yeah, that covers it for today. DRAMless drives, honestly, don't buy them. 